Hey, uh, welcome to another tutorial from our WordPress Page Builders Academy. Uh, we have an extensive library of tutorials for uh, all the top WordPress page builders. So be sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you, you can see them when they come out. Okay, now on to today's tutorial. Hey everyone, today we will be doing a tutorial on how to do a mobile first mega menu with Bricks Builder. So before getting to the actual tutorial, uh, what's talk a little bit, bit about um, the best practices for uh, designing a uh, mobile first mega menu. So first, uh, simplify your navigations, uh, limit the number of top level items and submenus to avoid overwhelming your users. Two, uh, make sure your design, even though it's responsive, it should be responsive to all screen sizes uh, on the phone. Three, uh, touch friendly UI designed the menu with touch interaction in mind. Four, there should be clear indicators for submenus, be it an arrow or a carrot. Five, uh, the menu should be easy to open and close. Six, you should use an accordion or full, full screen overlay because you want the menu to be visible with the limit uh, size of the screen. Seven, uh, prioritize speed and performance. And eight, Use larger fonts so people without perfect eyesight can see well enough. So now that we've gone over um, the best practices for creating a mobile first mega menu, let's actually get to the tutorial now, okay? We are now in the edit editor page and uh, where we could edit the header section. Let's add uh, two columns to the section for the placement of the logo and in the menu. Uh, or I will adjust the width of each column since it's for mobile. Add the logo and the toggle button. Uh, adjust their placements inside the column. Uh, next, let's add the off canvas element. Inside the off canvas element, there's a burger menu and text. Uh, we need to remove those since we'll be putting our menu inside later. Next, copy the element ID of the off canvas element and paste it into the CSS selector of the toggle element. This way, when we uh, when the user clicks on the toggle, the off canvas element will appear and you could choose if it will appear on the left side or the right side i prefer to be on the left side and if you're not familiar with what the off canvas element does um, we actually create a video uh, the bricks builder off canvas element and we'll link to it in this video and in the description box uh, okay anyway back to the video okay so next let's add an accordion nestable and put it under the content in the off canvas element. This will be used as our menu. Okay. Change the name and choose the icon for it. Yeah. Also adjust the padding or margin and add a solid border if you like. Hey, we've got a quick favor to ask. If you've made it this far into that tutorial, please smash the like button. It will really help out this channel and these tutorials. Okay, now back to the actual tutorial. Thank you. Next, let's add a submenu to each menu item. I will add an image and a text, which you can place under the content.
for the image and the text, you can insert a link so that when a user clicks on it, they'll be redirected to another tab. You could customize your submenu with not just images or text, but also icons or any other elements that fit your preferences. After that, I will add an icon for better look and easy access. In the arrow icon, you can add a link also. So now let's check its responsiveness. And here I'll create a duplicate. Uh, the one with the toggle will be for a mobile only, and the other one will have the toggle removed and replaced with the nav nestable. Um, the section with the toggle will be hidden on desktop and tablet and will be viewable only on mobile. And the, and the section with the nav nestable will be hidden on mobile, but will appear on the desktop and tablet version of the site. Select and edit different versions of your design to modify how the menu displays on desktop and tablet. Uh, set the display to none when you want to hide element and flex when you want it to appear. So now let's check it. And there you have it. Uh, that's um, how you create a mobile first mega menu with Bricks Builder. Okay, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Uh, if you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And uh, these videos take a lot of time, so if you do appreciate the content, uh, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell so we can reach more people. Uh, thank you. And if you have any comments or questions, leave in the section below and we will get to them as soon as we can. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye.